Today I'm checking out these three brand new tools from Topeak, which are crammed with all of the tools you could ever possibly need to get a broken bike off the mountainside. Now we're gonna be giving away 10 of each of these three tools today. So stay tuned to find out all about the tools and how you can win. Okay, so first up is the P20. You guessed it, it has 20 tools in here. 20 on something that small, mad, isn't it? A little neoprene case, which means it's safe to put in your pocket. It also means if you throw it in a bag, it's not gonna scratch anything up on the inside. Um, first up, it doesn't weigh much. So let's just check the weight on that. 130 grams, so very respectable. Um, barely even notice it to be fair. Construction though is not scant, that's for sure. So it's got alloy outer plates on there and chrome vanadium tools on there. The outer plates are available in silver, in black like this one, or in gold. Uh, the gold one looks really cool, but I've got to say, black does look rad. Uh, the tools themselves are made from chrome vanadium steel. They're very, very tough, and they've got nice sharpened edges to them. The sharp edges means they're gonna be a good fit and there's no chance of them slipping, uh, which is essential, especially with a multi-tool when you have a limited amount of tool that you're using. There's also a Torx T15 and a T25 on there. Uh, T25, of course, is very common. Disc rotor bolts and controls on the bars. The 15 may be less so, but they're starting to become more and more popular, so that's great to see that as an addition. There's also a Philips P2 on there, great for adjusting rear derailleurs, and just general, it's good to have one of those on any sort of small tool. Now, interestingly, there's a small blade on here. It's got a slight sawtooth profile to it. Great for trimming down cable ties if you carry spares with you. Also, if you have a tubeless repair kit uh, for trimming down those little rubber plugs. Brilliant stuff. And lastly, but definitely not least, is the chain tool. Now, this is my favorite part on most multi-tools. This is an excellent one. So you have the driver that's part of the tool and then you've got the body that you use with that. Now it's got two sets of jaws on the tool. That is the feature I tell people to look for on multi-tools. The reason for that is you can't always rely on having a quick link at hand. Sometimes you're gonna to need to rejoin a chain the old fashioned way. And if you do it with a regular set of uh, jaws as opposed to a twin set, you can end up with a stiff link, which means your shifting's gonna be all over the place and you won't be able to enjoy your ride. With the twin set of jaws, you can get rid of that stiff link. Now there's also four spoke keys on here. There's a 14 and 15G, uh, super common those ones. And there's also one for Mavic, which is cool, and one for Shimano as well. And on the back of that chain tool, there's another tool. This one is for splitting one of those power links or master link, whichever you have on your bike, that will split them. Absolutely brilliant to see 20 tools, but all really usable on this tiny little tool. Um, I love the simplicity of the smaller tools, but let's get into something a bit bigger, shall we? Okay, so this is the PT30. That's right, 30 tools. Now, if you fancy yourself as a bit of a trailside MacGyver, then this is the tool that you want. Again, it comes with a neoprene protective case for protecting you and protecting it, which is great. It comes in the black, comes in the gold, and comes in the silver. I've got an older model, actually, in the gold, just so you can see there. Looks really cool, actually, but I've got to say, the new one, it's got much better tools on it. They have managed to sort of put some additional things on here. So let's dive in and look at the tools. Just before we do, I'll weigh it, just so you can see the difference. So the last one was 130 grams with 20 tools. This one is 167 grams with 30 tools. That's a pretty good ratio, to be fair. Now this really does have everything on here, and then some. So with Allen keys, if we can start looking through these, you'll see there's a two, 2.5, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, and even a 10. Uh, a little less common to need one on a trail bike, of course, but you do get them on cranks sometimes, and if they do come loose, and the same with pivots actually, if they do come loose, you're kind of buggered. You really do need to be able to get them at least nipped up tight to get out of there and get off the trail. So that is great to have that feature. Again, the chrome vanadium tools, really nice quality, nice sharp edges, so really good to use and they're good and friendly on your bike. Unlike the other tool that just had the Philips P2, there's a Philips P2 on here, but there's also a flathead. There is also a Torx T10 in addition to the T15 and the T20. Now, if you look up close and you look on that T10, you'll notice it's got a slightly knurled finish. That's because it's also a reamer for repairing tubeless tires. And at the other side of the tool, you get one of the tire plug installation tools, like the little fork prong there to stab into the tool. That locks in place so you can't slip, you can't accidentally hurt yourself. And then also for trimming down that plug or cable ties, you have another one of those serrated knife blades. Really cool to see all of these. And again, there is a chain tool on here, but this chain tool, you actually can remove it from the tool. So a little bit easier to use. It's a bit bigger as well than you get on the P20. Granted, you might not need all of these tools. It's definitely appeals to me though, I've got to say. So the first thing, 
So say it's got these two sets of jaws as you see on the previous tool, but this also has a third hand. Now these are great, it's kind of like a bent spoke. This is for holding your chain when you rejoin one. Super useful to have that on a multi-tool. Uh, it's a really nice secure fit on the tool, so you're not gonna lose that. Again, if you look up close, you'll see there are spoke keys on here for 14 and 15 Gs, and also there for a Mavic and a Shimano. So that's great. A little extra feature is you get a pad spacer here. So if you need to do some work on your brake pads, maybe you need to just prise them apart again, you have the right tool for the job. Also, for traveling to the trails, if you drive, you might want to just bung that in if you take your front wheel out. So that's really cool to see. And again, on the back of the chain tool there, you see it has one of those power link splitters. That is a really genuinely great tool to have. Again, so there's like 30 tools on there. I've got to say, this one really appeals to me, but uh, not everyone's going to want a tool this size because it's not quite, you're going to need to put this in a bag rather than just put it in your pocket because it is that bit bigger. But still, an excellent addition to the team. So this is the 2B18, it's got 18 tools and it's focused around the tubeless racer that wants to get back to speed as fast as possible. So on here you have two, two and a half, three, four, five, and six millimeter Allen keys. It has the same chrome vanadium tools, the same alloy outer plates available in gold, available in silver, and of course in black. Now it does lack a chain tool on here and it does lack the eight millimeter, but instead you get more tubeless specific tools. As I said, two, two and a half, three, four, five, and six millimeter on there. You also have Torx T10, T15, and T25, and you have the Philips P2 on there. You might notice it's got the same blade that you see on the other two tools. Of course, this is tubeless focus, so it's very useful for that purpose. And it also has a reaming tool and the prong for inserting those tubeless plugs into the tire. It also has an air saver. So when you do discover you've got one of those punctures, before you can actually get access to the tool, you can jam that in the hole to stop any air coming out. Of course, it's very easy to just put back on the tool again afterwards. That's a great feature. And then on the inside of here, it actually stores tubeless plugs. So you can keep a selection of tubeless plugs in here and there's even a stopper. So that means when you're putting the prong into the tire, you can't insert it too far. They have thought of everything on here. And the fact you've got three loaded up in here, they're dust free, which means you can keep that in your pocket, on your bike, wherever you fancy, and they're gonna be good to use whenever. Now, if you're paranoid about that being incredibly sharp, it does actually come with a little cover. I just took it off for illustration purposes. Super easy to take that off actually, so you might actually wanna keep that on there. Uh, it's a magnet fitting into the back of that six millimeter there. Super neat and tidy. Just love the way that they make these tools. And they're so full featured as well. You've got everything on there for just about every occasion that could happen out on the trail. Um, there's a great selection. So you've got the TB18 with the 18 tools focused around the tubeless racer. You've got the PT30. That's really for the MacGyver out there that wants to be the, the fixer of the group. And then you've got the P20, which really, that's every man's tool. So we are giving away 10 of each of these amazing tools. If you want to find out how to win, there is a link in the description underneath this video. Click forward to that. Good luck. Cheers, guys.